สบายดีเวอร์สุคนพี่น้องอยู่เมืองเมกาเมืองลาวเวอร์สุคนอยู่บนใดบาฟอกออกมาอีกแล้วบันนี้ก็โทษเด้อเมื่อไเอาคลิปใส่ประมาณสองสามนาทีเลยทอดไปน้องเอาคนกระทอดเด้อวันนี้สีเฮคว้ามีน้ำเส้นอเมริกาเส้นปัสเกดีเมนมนนนเส้นปัสเกดีเฮคว้ามีเอาไม่ยูทูบไม่ยูทูบฟามิลี่ไม่อเมริกันวันสิ่งนี้ f r o man bringing you another cooking video, and I do, I do apologize, you guys. I apologize that I haven't put one up in a while. Believe it or not, look how rugged I look right now. You see, I've been under the weather for a little bit. You know, I just come off, uh, come over a little cold, little head cold that I got for about two days. I believe, I believe my brother home brought it home from work. He been coughing up, sneezing, and everything, and then I end up. Catching it right from him, but yeah, I just got over it, y'all. Took a bit, a little bit of Nyquil, got over it, went to sleep, and everything. But listen, what I was telling my Laotian people is, we are. I'm about to guide you, uh, guide you through some pescetti lo mein, chicken pescetti lo mein. Enough to it. Right now, I just started. I just started on the noodles and everything. I, I apologize, I didn't show you what kind of noodles I got, but it's just regular spaghetti noodles, you guys. Hold up. Batelli's. Batelli's spaghetti noodles. You can get them at any Ingles, Winn-Dixie, or whatever. But yeah, as soon as this noodle get cooked, you don't want to cook it all the way. Because uh, once you start frying it, it's gonna still it's gonna cook anyway. It's gonna get cooked together. But I'm about to drain these noodles, you guys, and let them sit for a minute. And we got all our ingredients right here. Here are the veggies that's gonna go in. Here are the made it marinated chicken that I cut from chicken thighs. Best best meat, chicken meat ever, you guys. All right. And once the noodles get done, I'm about to drain them and let them sit for a little bit until it's time for us to fry them, right? But, uh, whew, I ain't did one in a long time, but today's topic today, guys, is going to be, let's talk about cravings. Cravings. Cravings from when you've been sober for about five months. Cravings from when you've been sober for about a year. Cravings for you been sober for over 10 years. We're going to touch on that subject tonight. All right? Hang tight, and that's what we're going to do. If I can think about it, y'all, let's, let's get a little hand of applause or comments on that about cravings. Because you know everybody has them. You guys have them. I have them. I done been sober for uh, a year. And I still have my cravings. And I know cravings is something that you're going to gradually get you know, taken away from you once you start slowly, slowly up the process, up the ladder. As the longer you get up the ladder, your cravings will stop. But the ones that are battling, battling uh, cravings every day, my heart is with you guys. You can do it. Keep doing it. Keep fighting them cravings. Keep uh, thinking about positive things, not negative things. Now look, my trick to see if these noodles are done, this is what you do. Look, you see that white door right there? Noodles are done because they stuck. All right, it's time to drain the noodles. But yeah, you guys, cravings is one of the worst when you're an addict. Cravings can take you to when you done told, totally stop and totally quit. And one set of craving in your mind will take you right back to it. And uh, it'll take you right to it.
it'll take you right back to it. And then you'll end up doing it again. You'll break down. And then you'll just go right back doing back drugs again. Drinking or whatever. Whatever it is that you, you know, what you was used to. What you was up to. All because you couldn't get over the crazy. And let me tell you guys, yeah, that cra them cravings are hell. Them cravings are hell. It feels like you can't do nothing but think about it. It feels like you can't talk nothing about talk about it. And it seems like your mind, your whole world, is all about that, the cravings. But listen, you guys. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while for your mind to be back right. I'm going to tell you, you think it's going to be maybe a year or so that you won't get the cravings no more? I hate to tell you guys. I hate to tell you. Because your cravings going to stop probably within about a year or two later. Year or two later since you've been clean. And uh I know every I know everything that'll trigger you, you know. I know everything that triggered from depression, anxiety, and when you bored them at home, that, that's the worst. That's the worst. When you get bored and you can't go nowhere, you can't do nothing, you ain't got nobody to take you nowhere, you can't. And that's what depression gets on that. And the first thing you're going to think of in your mind is, man, if I was doped up or if I was drunk or if I was high or anything, I wouldn't be so bored. Well, you're right. You're right. You're right about that. Because you want me to tell you why? When you dope oh, up and when you're high me. and everything, you forget Somebody about what, what keeps you from being bored. What you know, what you can do. You can find yourself doing everything and everything. You know what I'm saying? Most people, when they tweaked up, they they go ramsack Walmart. And then when you, you're high on heroin, all you do is just sit at the house and stare at yourself. That's if you're awake. Okay? And then when you're drunk, you just think you're Superman. You can go do anything. But that, that's one of the main things that keeps you crazy, you guys, is being bored. Well, to keep from being bored, just find anything to do. Find anything to do in your house. Find anything to do at home, outside. Hell, go go pump up the tires on your brother's truck or whatever, or you, whoever. Go just find you something to do the way you want to think about the cravings, okay? And, uh... See, you got me talking. The uh, garlic going in first. Tomatoes going in with the garlic, you guys. Once you start hearing that sizzle and everything, you got a little bit. Let the tomatoes get cooked down. All right. Yeah, and, and you guys don't don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed that you have your cravings. Because other people know. They need to know. You tell them. The next person you see beside you is they're going through cravings and they shaking and shivering and everything. Try to help them. Let them know what to do to get rid of them cravings. This is what I do. To get rid of my cravings. When I'm thinking at home, I'm sitting and bored at home watching TV. They're saying that if I was drunk or or if I was intoxicated, I wouldn't be so bored. Well, instead of thinking that, I'm thinking about, oh, what is it that I can cook for my mom, my mom and my brother today? What is it that I, what ingredient I can use? What, you know, what be something good that I ain't cooked in a while? This is what I ain't cooked in a while. Chicken going in, you guys. Now listen, that's chopped up thigh meat that I marinated in, in uh, 
tablespoon of mushroom soy sauce and sweet soy sauce and salt and pepper. Once I, uh, once I chopped them up, I marinated it, let it sit for about two hours, two hours. And this is how the noodles will look after they drain it. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. And uh, those that have been through the sobriety, those that have been through the rehab, those that have been through the detox, however long it's been, a week, or you just, you just got out of rehab, or it's been a year, two years, let me tell you guys, deep in my heart, I'm proud of you. I'm every bit proud of you. If you think, if you think you can overcome them craving, do it. Answer. If you can't overcome the craving, call somebody. The first person that you, the uh, number one on your contact, dial them, talk with them, tell them what's going on. Tell them what's going on in your mind. Okay, here it goes. Once you got the chicken in. So it's all. Two worlds. Mushroom. Mushroom, so it's all. Two worlds. Now, the sweet, dark soy sauce. You don't want to put a lot. You just want to put just enough about one swirls. Chili sauce, my people. Chili sauce. All right. And the man, the breed that everybody call crack. Ah, MSG. Mm -hmm. Can't make nothing without this, you guys. MSG. Now, oyster sauce. Look. So excited I can't even give you that. But I gotta pull that thing out first. Yeah, last video I made of you guys talking about addiction, we was out on the lake. And that's been the last one. And I do, I do, you guys, I do apologize that uh, I'm not putting them up there every day. It's just that I don't want you guys to be bored of me sitting at home all the time, okay? I want to get y'all, I want to I wanna show y'all different places, different, you know, go to different worlds and talk to you about addiction. Maybe I like to just show up to some places where people have been through addiction and get their view on it and everything, too. Like I said, you guys, I don't do this for the money. I don't do it to try to get paid or whatever, but I do it to help the next person beside of me. And it makes me so happy and proud to know that one or, one or two people is watching my video. 